automation is set and forget marketing. We covered it in an earlier video, but in this video we'll look at something slightly more advanced and that's custom automation. In MailChimp itself, if we go to campaigns and go to create a campaign, what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to create an automation to immediately send based on when someone clicks a normal, a so-called normal everyday campaign. So what I'm wanting to do is I send a campaign to someone as that person clicks a link in that campaign, it triggers another email to be sent. This works really well if you're sending discount codes or something like that. So a person receives an email campaign from you, they click a link on it, and then MailChimp immediately sends them a follow-up email saying, thanks for clicking, here's your discount code, something like that. So let, let's do that. So let's assume we have a campaign we're about to send. We now click email and we're going to create our automation now. We click email, sorry, automated. Okay, what we're wanting to do here isn't in the recipes, but use recipes where you can. I'm going to click on custom. I can call it anything I want to, and I'll choose my list. Okay, so working from the top. So, it's a custom event workflow. One day after subscribers are manually added to my workflow. I don't want that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit, change trigger, and look at campaign activity. So what I'm wanting to do is send this as someone clicks another email. So it's campaign activity, and here we go. When someone clicks a campaign, I want this to be triggered. So I'll choose the campaign that I want to trigger this, uh, this workflow to be enabled. Select when I want the email to go out, for example, immediately and click update trigger. So immediately after someone clicks on a link in another campaign, it triggers this one to go out. Now I would just design this email saying, here's your special offer or whatever the case is and start the automation. Typically what happens, the order that we do things in is we create our campaign we're going to send that we want people to click on. We keep it in draft status. We then go and create our automation, our custom workflow to say when someone clicks on that draft email, we start our automation and then we send our campaign. The problem is if we uh, set up and sent our campaign and then started the workflow, we might miss a few people that have actually clicked. So that's how easy custom automation is.